What is up guys, Delboy here. So as some of you may know, highly touted light heavyweight Anthony Yard's return to the ring is scheduled for the 23rd of February. That will take place in Leicester at the Leicester Arena. Now as of right now, no opponent has been announced. However, I have seen some talk of Anthony Yard fighting Sullivan Barrera in this fight. Now first and foremost, if that was true, that would be a hell of a step up because, you know, so far Anthony Yard, he, he has been feasting on a low level of competition, to be quite honest. The level of his competition hasn't been gradually raising, in fact, arguably it has been getting worse. I mean, Yard fought Sej Locker back in December 2017. I felt that was a perfectly acceptable fight back then. But, you know, since that fight, his competition has actually got worse, fighting guys like Tony Avalanche, Darius Sek, and Walter Sakira. you know. His level of competition in 2018 has been really, really poor. And I worry that Anthony Yard hasn't been getting the right development fights, to be quite honest. What's he learning in these fights? That's my main concern. We've not really seen Yard gradually step up in levels of competition. He's fighting the same type of guys over and over and over again. And it's when you do that, that is when a fighter can stagnate. And that is when a promising prospect could actually pick up bad habits. When I've been asking for Yard to take step up fights, I've not been talking about guys like Sullivan Barrera. I was more talking about guys like... Josea Burton or Bob Adjasafe, you know, guys who can give Yard a few different looks, give Yard something to think about, but guys ultimately that Yard should be, you know, guys who can, you know, like I say, just give him a few different things to work out in the ring, you know, that's the whole idea of matchmaking. You put your fighter in the right fight at the right time so he can develop, you know, you give him different styles, you give him different stances. You give your prospect guys who are different sizes, you know. That's the type of matchmaking I think Yard has been missing out on. But, you know, ultimately, we'll find out in the future whether he has or not. But um, if he were to fight Sullivan Barrera, that is a huge step up. And I feel that will reveal a lot about Anthony Yard, whether that be good or bad. Sullivan Barrera, yes, he's come unstuck at the highest level against guys like Andre Ward and Dimitri Bivol, but you know, he's beaten guys like Shabransky, Joe Smith Jr., Felix Valera, Karu Marat, you know, these are capable guys Barrera has been beating, and he's been beating these guys decisively, to be quite honest. You know, these guys are better than anybody Anthony Yard has fought so far, so Barrera would be a big, big step up, and technically Barrera, without doubt, would be the best fighter Yard has ever been in the ring with. You know, Barrera, he's a big light heavyweight, he's six foot two with a 73 inch reach, so he's taller and longer than Anthony Yard. Barrera has good solid technical boxing skills, as you would expect from a Cuban. He's not he's not got that moving style like most Cubans do. You know, Barrera, he's a boxer puncher, likes to uh, use that stiff jab and counter with that right hand. You know, his two piece is a really good combination and uh, he carries some good punching power as well. Barrera, yeah, he, he's a solid fighter. He was a top 10 light heavyweight. Is he still now? Maybe, maybe not. He's certainly top 15, so this would be a massive, massive step up for Anthony Yard. And it would certainly give us a better idea of how good Anthony Yard is and could be. Now, this fight isn't official yet. There's only been talk about it online. Sullivan Barrera tweeted Anthony Yard and said basically, well, I'll tell you what he said. He said, Mr. Anthony Yard, looking forward to Feb, my friend. Let's do this. So he's looking forward to February. That's when Yard has a fight booked. People are putting two and two together. Let's hope it's true. You know, as I said, it would be a tremendous fight. Maybe, maybe too much of a step up. And again, I will reiterate this. When I've spoken about Anthony Yard and the matchmaking, I've not been calling for him to fight guys like Sullivan Barrera. So him doing this would be exceeding my expectations. So I would give him all the credit in the world, to be quite honest. Um, share your thoughts below. Do you think this would be too soon for Anthony Yard? 
do you think he's ready for this? Can he beat Barrera? Or, you know, would you back Barrera? You know, share your thoughts below. Um, tell me what you think. I'd be really excited about this fight if it got made, to be quite honest. But yeah, share your thoughts below. Peace.